Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, bunch of uh, triangles fully confined uh, in a bigger triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this segment uh, DE is equal to this uh, segment uh, FB. This angle uh, CAD is uh, 60 degrees. This angle uh, CFE is uh, 50 degrees. This angle uh, ACD is uh, 20 degrees. And finally, this angle uh, ECF uh, is uh, 30 degrees. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. Before we solve this uh, problem, let me go over the basic uh, concept that we'll be using uh, in solving uh, this uh, given uh, problem. Let's go over the exterior angle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of uh, two opposite uh, interior angles, as you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram. And here, this is our exterior angle C, whereas uh, these A and uh, B are our uh, opposite uh, interior angles such that uh, our angle C equals to A plus B. And now let me give you an example. If we have these uh, two angles, 60 degrees and uh, 50 degrees, which are our opposite uh, interior angles, then uh, this angle that is going to be exterior angle is going to be the sum of these uh, two opposite interior angles. That is going to be 50 plus 60 is going to make uh, 110 uh, degrees. And now let's go over the straight uh, angle property. Straight angle means that this whole uh, angle is going to be 180 degrees on this uh, straight line. And if uh, this uh, angle is 120 degrees, then our this uh, remaining angle is going to be 60 degrees. In other words, the sum of these uh, two angles must be equal to 180 degrees. And now let's go over the triangle uh, sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. So therefore, in this uh, triangle, sum of these all three interior angles, they add up to 180 degrees. And here's an example. If this angle is 70 degrees, this angle is 60 degrees, then this angle is going to be 50 degrees, such that if we add all these three angles, they add up to 180 degrees. And finally, let's go over the isosceles uh, triangle. In this uh, given triangle, uh, this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. That means uh, two of its sides are uh, congruent. And furthermore, uh, this uh, angle that is opposite to this side is going to congruent to this angle uh, that is opposite to the other side. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle ADC. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem once again. We know that the sum of uh, these uh, two interior angles uh, is going to be equal to this uh, exterior angle uh, C, such that this angle C equal to angle A plus angle uh, B. So therefore, in our case, uh, this is going to be our uh, exterior angle, and that is going to be the sum of these uh, two opposite uh, interior angle, 60 degrees plus 20 degrees is going to make uh, 80 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, another triangle uh, EFC. And now let's recall the exterior angle theorem once again. We'll be using this one uh, on this uh, triangle EFC once again. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be our uh, exterior angle. And that is going to be the sum of these uh, two opposite interior angles, uh, 30 degrees uh, and 50 degrees. If we add them, that is going to give us uh, 80 degrees as our exterior angle. And here's our next step. Let's focus now on this uh, triangle uh, DEC. We can see that these uh, two angles are uh, congruent. So therefore, this is an isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore, uh, this side length uh, CE is going to be equal to this uh, other side length uh, CD. They are uh, congruent sides. And now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem we are going to apply on this uh, triangle uh, DEC. So according to this theorem, the sum of uh, these uh, three interior angles in this triangle must be equal to 180 degrees. 
So therefore, this angle must be 20 degrees. If we add all these three angles, they add up to 180 degrees. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle DFC. And now let's focus on these angles. This whole angle DCF is going to be the sum of these two individual angles. 20 plus 30 degrees is going to give us 50 degrees. So therefore our angle DCF turns out to be 50 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this angle CFD is 50 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, DFC is an isosceles triangle since the, these angles are uh, 50 degrees each. So therefore their opposite uh, side length uh, this uh, CD and its uh, opposite uh, side length uh, DF uh, are going to be congruent. So therefore we conclude that this uh, CD length uh, equals to DF length uh, as you can see over here. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, side length uh, DE equals to this side length uh, FB. Let me call uh, this uh, side length uh, lowercase a. Then this uh, other side length DE is going to be lowercase uh, a as well. And now let's focus on this uh, segment uh, EF. Let me label this one as uh, lowercase b. Then we can see that this whole uh, length uh, df is going to be a plus b as you can see over here in this uh, equation and now let's focus on this uh, segment uh, e b and this segment is going to be once again uh, b plus a if we add them that is going to be a plus b as you can see in this uh, equation e b equals to a plus b as well and if we compare these two equations, we conclude that uh, EB length uh, equals to DF length. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, DF length uh, is uh, congruent to this uh, EB length. So that means uh, this is also going to be congruent to this uh, side length. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, EBC. And now let's recall the straight angle property we are going to apply over here. We can see this whole angle is going to be 180 degrees. And we know that this angle is 80 degrees. So therefore this remaining angle has got to be 100 degrees. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, triangle EBC is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this uh, side length uh, CE is uh, congruent to this uh, side length uh, EB as you can see over here in this uh, equation. So therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, angle uh, ECB is going to be congruent uh, to this angle uh, EBC. And we know our EBC angle is X, then this ECB angle is going to be X as well. And now let's recall triangle sum theorem once again. The sum of three interior angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So that means this angle X plus this angle X plus angle 100 must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down angle X plus angle X plus uh, 100 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. Let's subtract 100 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, 2x uh, turns out to be equal to 80 degrees. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore, our angle x turns out to be 40 degrees. So thus our angle x turns out to be 40 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.